This is it, the moment we've been waiting for. 5G is gone, ultra. Okay, so you might be saying to yourself, we've been talking about Verizon 5G for the last two years. What's different now? The good news, lots. With the addition of mid-band spectrum to enhance 5G ultra wideband, we are fulfilling our promise to build our best 5G network. To explain how, I'm gonna break out my newest alter ego and give you a little 5G Ultra 101. Introducing Professor George. Now I'm a purveyor of fun. I like tiki mugs, superhero movies, 90s punk bands, and watching my son Gabe's eyes completely light up at the amusement park. And I think this is the perfect way to really explain Verizon 5G to all of you. So to get a complete understanding of our 5G network, you have to learn about spectrum and bands, low band, mid band, and high band, also known as millimeter wave. So let's get into them using some of my favorite rides as teaching tools. First up, millimeter wave. This band is like those rip roaring thrill rides, rocketing roller coasters, flipping you upside down, total adrenaline rush. This is for people with a need for speed. And if you're connected in the crowd, you're going to get an awesome experience. For gaming types, you'll get that ultra low lag to clinch victories. And it's great for the dad who's in a pinch so he can download 4K videos for his kids right before a trip to Orlando. On the other end, we have low band. And that means looking at range and lots of it. This is like that cool mini train that lets you see the whole park, the parking lot, and maybe even some of the surrounding neighborhood. This week, we completed the Verizon amusement park of my dreams with mid-band. This complements our existing 5G coverage and will get us to those ultra fun family rides. We're talking about the log flume, roaring rapids, and the spinning teacups that dads like to pretend aren't their favorite rides, but kinda are. Midband provides the fast speeds and low latency our customers expect when they hear 5G, while adding additional range and increased indoor coverage. For example, this means video calling with more friends in more areas with fewer frozen faces, and being able to stream and upload content when connected to the network in a crowd. In conclusion, each band has its own combination of speed and range, and all three bands are used to deliver 5G, just like all these rides make a complete theme park that everyone can enjoy. With that, I'm gonna have a pop quiz on tomorrow's Up to Speed. I hope you've all been paying attention. All right, guys. All of a sudden, I'm in the mood for some funnel cake. Who wants some? I'm buying.